so i want to bring out this video on bryce james and talk about this viral tiktok video he made not too long ago and also give y'all an update on him heading into his junior year and just to let y'all know this is strictly entertainment we just having fun on this topic so check this out about a month ago bryce made this tiktok video with his friends doing the running through my mind challenge and it actually went viral because it's currently sitting at 12.1 million views on his page with over a million likes so as you can see a lot of people like the video because there's actually a few subliminal signs in it such as them showing who they really got their eyes on so during the beginning of the video you can see that bryce started off by showing off this girl on his phone who is named storm reed now if y'all don't know who storm reed is she's an actress that is currently only 20 years old while premiering in a few movies and tv shows throughout this year alone she has already been casted in a few projects such as the movie missing the nun 2 and also the last of us which is a tv show as well so she is actually very well known because she is currently holding 2.9 million followers on Instagram, as well as having a collab with New Balance on top of that. So when you go back to the video that Bryce made on his TikTok, you can see that he decided to show off Storm for his crush by using the picture she took. And when you go to her Instagram and look at the comments under that picture, you can see everyone talking about Bryce's TikTok video, literally spamming her comments about him. So you know Storm most likely saw the video after everyone mentioned it to her because Bryce basically shot his shot in front of everybody. Even though it's just a TikTok challenge or whatever, it's clearly obvious that it's some truth in it because when you think about it, before they started making the video, right? They all had an option to show one girl that they always had a crush on and Bryce decided to choose Storm Reed. So she clearly has really been on bro's mind because out of every girl, that's who he chose to show. So this is really interesting to me, I can't even lie. I definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about this. Do y'all think Bryce James can pull Storm Reed? Storm follows him and be supporting. So he clearly is already a few steps ahead by being who he is and also making a TikTok video about her. But to remind y'all, Bryce is only 16 years old, so he is still really young. And that's why I always state that this is strictly entertainment before I start talking about Bryce's relationships and crushes because he is still a youngin. We just having fun talking about on what he be doing. So this summer has been really exciting for Bryce on the court by watching him progress his game because he has really been active lately playing with different teams such as Strive for Greatness, which he started off their 16U team this year while competing in the EYBL for the first time and also teaming up with Kanye and Anthony as well. Bryce James was also invited to play for the Drifty Elite team not too long ago. So he played with two different AAU teams this summer, heading into his junior year, while playing a few summer league games with Campbell Hall, as well as getting ready for this upcoming season. And if y'all don't know, just recently, rumors came out in our servicing around about Bryce already leaving Campbell Hall and transferring to Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame, to play alongside with Mercy Miller. So we're going to see on what happens. I honestly don't know why he already wants to leave Campbell Hall the season didn't even start yet, so I'm not sure on what's really going on with him being there. Maybe Bryce is just having second thoughts and probably feels like he's a better fit at Notre Dame playing with Mercy Miller because we all know Mercy is a top player in his class committed to Houston. So we're going to see on what Bryce and his family will decide to do since the summer is now ending. They are going to have to make a decision very soon, so Bryce will still be eligible to play for this upcoming season. If y'all don't know anything about Campbell Hall, Basically, it's a smaller school compared to Bryce's former school, which was Sierra Canyon. Last year, they were forced to play on the road against Sierra Canyon because their home gym could not contain large crowds that attended Brownies games. So this is really interesting to me. At the end of the day, Bryce has two more years in high school and also is holding two offers as well. So he has time to really progress himself by receiving more offers. If he ends up deciding to stay at Campbell Hall, then he just needs to grind it out and just do his best. I know watching some of his summer games with them recently, they did have him playing big man when he's originally a guard. So you know that could be very frustrating for Bryce because he knows the position he really wants to play. So if he ends up transferring to Notre Dame with Mercy Miller, then they for sure would be a nice backcourt for that school. I could definitely see them potentially making it to state together. So honestly, if the James game feels like they need to make another move for Bryce to go to another school, then I'm all for it. Because I understand that they are trying to find the best fit for him so Bryce can become the player he needs to be. Every time when he steps on the court, he honestly gets better and better. I've been watching him improve his skills, his pace on the court, as well as his athleticism and everything. The thing about Bryce is that he knows his spots on the court 
as well as knowing how to create his own shots. Once he starts to tighten up his handles and get more comfortable with himself, he's just going to keep getting better and better. So he really just needs more games under his belt while being with the right team that will let him be himself and play his own game. Bryce Path is different from his older brother because he is not ranked in his class right now, which is fine. Bryce honestly don't even need to worry about rankings because there's a lot of players in the league right now who is not ranked in high school. The reason on why Bronny's ranking was such a big deal because the hype he was bringing in being in high school was being compared to their dad LeBron. For Bryce, he is completely different. Most people are looking at him as his own person knowing that he is LeBron's son as well. So he just needs to block out the noise and just keep grinding and moving forward so he can get to where he wants to be. I see he always reposts his peers receiving bigger offers on his Instagram story, so he clearly wants to receive them offers too. He was just working out with his dad LeBron while they both was wearing USC gear, so hopefully USC will eventually send my offer as well in the future. Bryce has the name of course, but he still has to prove to everyone that he is league bound. Leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about Bryce James having a crush on Storm Reed and also the next step of his basketball career. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T game, we out. Lego. I'm not the I'm not the Hold up, hurry. Right. I'll charge. For the, 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 the. <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let's go.